everyone. It is great to see you here once again on Dee's Delights. Today we are going to make cheesy chicken and potato casserole. Uh, I love potatoes. I love chicken. I love cheese. I pretty much love every ingredient that is going into this casserole today. So I'm hoping that the mixture turns out well. So first what you're going to want to do is get all of your ingredients prepped. You're going to need three chicken breast cubed. Well, I had two massive chicken breasts, which was about two pounds. So today I'm going to use two pounds of chicken breast cubed. And of course that's boneless chicken breast. Two pounds of red potatoes. Wash those and cut them into like little one inch pieces. One half cup ranch dressing. It can be store bought or homemade. So just get that ready. Mine naturally is store bought. I'm sorry. Wasn't in the mood to make it. One half cup of sour cream. I just used a generic sour cream. One half teaspoon of each of the following. Garlic powder, dill, parsley, and pepper. I don't have any dill, so I won't be using that today. One and a quarter cup cheese shredded. Cheddar or your favorite that you have on hand. Eight slices of bacon, cooked, crisp, and crumbled. I just baked my bacon drain a little bit on the uh, paper towel. That just does it up so good. This probably took about 13 minutes at 400 degrees. There again, it depends on the thickness of your bacon, how long it's going to take. But just line a baking sheet with aluminum foil. Put your bacon so it's not touching. Pop it in the oven. Pick it up right away. Let it drain. Good to go. And four green onions thinly sliced. Well, I have to get my four green onions out of the fridge, but I will get them sliced. I thought I had everything ready to go, but apparently I didn't. Also, if you want, you can also add crumbled cornflakes. So here's a cup and a half. I'm just going to lightly crush these probably in a little gallon size bag. And then I'm going to mix those with three tablespoons of melted butter because that just adds such a nice touch to it. That's what you're going to need. So get everything ready. Preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Wash potatoes and cut into one inch cubes. So now we're going to bring a large pot of solid water to a boil and we're going to add the potatoes and cook for 12 to 15 minutes or until tender. Meanwhile, season the chicken with salt and pepper. Over medium heat, fry chicken until no longer pink. About six to eight minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and sprinkle a little salt and pepper. Who are you talking to? <laughs> Aren't you funny, Mr. Miller? Just talking to my friends out here. You keep bringing me all my Amazon stuff. Yep. I shop Amazon. Uh, me and Amazon are kind of like best friends, wouldn't you say? Yeah. <laughs> You gotta pay them. <laughs> well, the only thing is, a lot of the stuff I just buy because I'm too lazy to go to the store, especially with clothing. Heck, anymore, you try it on, you can ship it back for free. You don't have to go in front of those hideous mirrors that show every flaw imaginable. I can get dressed in the dark and be good to go. <laughs> I've never seen any flaws. Oh, you're so sweet, so sweet. So I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna keep on a cooking here, Mr. Miller. You're more than welcome to come join me. Sorry. Okay. What do I smell? Gasoline? It's uh, varnish. Varnish. Okay. Is varnish on any of your clothing that's going to be touching anything? No. I'll just take them off. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I'm good at it. <laughs> you want to see flaws. <laughs> so I've already put pepper and salt on my chicken. And over medium heat, I'm going to fry it. Did you say you insulted your chicken? <laughs> Doug's a comedian. Great comedian there, Mr. Miller. I love your humor. <laughs> it is fabulous. And I just love your sarcasm. <laughs> yes. Next, what we're going to do is butter a 9 by 13 pan and set that aside. In a medium bowl, combine the ranch dressing, which is half a cup. Combine the half cup of sour cream. Three quarter cup of the cheese. That would be almost half of it. Because I probably have one and a half cups. 
it says one and a quarter but you know me I love cheese so I'm just going to use half of what I have here and the seasonings which would be half a teaspoon of pepper half a teaspoon of garlic powder half a teaspoon of dill which I do not have and then half teaspoon of parsley then we are to mix that well I'm going to go ahead and cut up my four green onions and crumble up my bacon the one great thing about baking it in the oven is that it gets nice and firm and it's so easy to crumble once it cools since it says to slightly crush I'm not going to use the rolling pin I'm just going to use my hands you don't want it to be like a fine powdery dust still want to have a little crunch there my chicken is done. I'm going to put it in the 9 by 13 greased dish. My potatoes are just about ready. So we're going to drain those and then put them on top of the chicken. So my chicken's in the bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and put the potatoes on top. I'm going to kind of mix those around just a little bit. Next it says sprinkle half the bacon and half of the green onions spread over top. So we'll use half of our bacon here, and then half the green onions. Green onions always add just a nice little touch of color. I'm so observant like that. Okay, let's see. Spread the sauce on top. That would be a ranch dressing, sour cream. I'm going to have to just kind of glob it on right now and then spread it around. Try to get everything covered. If you're not using the cornflakes, now would be the time to spread the remaining cheese over top. If you are using the cornflakes, then we're going to add the cheese to a bowl. Add the cornflakes. And add the three tablespoons of butter. the butter's melted good that there's no chunks and then mix those three together make sure everything gets covered then just spread it around with your fingers and bake uncovered for 35 minutes at 375 degrees looks great I'm gonna go ahead and top it with the leftover bacon Maybe let it set for about 15 minutes before you cut into it. And then just sprinkle a few of those onions on top. Here comes the magic hands. Right there they come, right there. There it is. Thank you. You're welcome. Now it's gonna be very hot. That's hot. It is hot. I did tell them that, didn't I folks? We'll be able to taste it. It'll burn the taste buds right off. Make sure you get a little of the crispy stuff on top. It's good. I like it. I like it too. Yes, I can recommend the cheesy chicken and potato casserole. So thanks for joining us here once again on D's Delights. And we hope you have a fabulous week, everyone. See you soon.